Today we're going to do mac and cheese. Not this, even though I was raised on this. And my kids were raised on it, I think, and probably your kids. We're going to make it from scratch, and I've made it hundreds of times from scratch. Sometimes successful, sometimes not. This one today, you're going to love it. It's one of the best you've ever had. Five cheese, mac and cheese. Good. It's really good. Yeah, so mac and cheese. Uh, not this. That's good. I like this. We're going to do it um, with five cheeses. In fact, let me go over the ingredients right now. We're going to use uh, cavatappi, which is kind of like macaroni elbow, but it's curly cues. Five cheeses. I've got uh, smoked gouda, gruyere, white cheddar, Velveeta, and some Parmesan, which we're going to put in... Um, the panko crumbs for a topping. Also on a topping, we're going to have some bacon. In it, we're going to have a little bit of red chilies, milk, cream. There's a little flour and butter involved. And that's it. It's not going to take long. And I, I'm sure you're going to love it. We're going to do it right now. So let's go and cook it. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Uh, a tablespoon and a half of butter uh, in this pan because I do want to make a little bit of a roux a thickener for the uh, milk and the cream. In the main, I don't want a lot because it's going to be nice and thick. Now in the meantime too, pasta in. Now, here's my take on uh, cooking pasta. This is cavatappi. It's kind of thick. Probably nine, ten minutes really, once it kind of comes back up to a boil. There's uh, al dente, which to some people means chewy. There's just right, which I like, and then there's mushy and overcooked. So don't overcook it. Okay, once we get the uh, butter going in there, I'm going to put in the uh, flour, maybe a tablespoon and a half of flour, and cook it a little bit, not too hot, so it doesn't get too brown. Then cook out the, uh, the flour taste. One cup of milk going in. Half a cup of cream in. Okay, stir it while it uh, comes to a uh, simmer. A little bit. Check your pasta boiling. Good. Good. I gotta start the timer, huh? It's been there a couple minutes, so I want to make, uh, make it for eight minutes. Okay, while we're waiting for the uh, milk to get up to uh, heat again and simmer, I'm going to throw in the cheeses and just get them going. Because uh, the whole thing about mac and cheese is the cheese sauce. I mean, that's the all-important part is you get that exactly the way you want it. Before you put it together. Stir it in and let it come to a simmer. The topping, about half a cup of panko, a couple of tablespoons of uh, Parmesan cheese, mix it up. And while we're waiting for the um, milk and cream, and the cheese to melt. Let's get your pan ready. We're going to spray this. A little pan spray. And wait for the cheese sauce. The cheese sauce is uh, just about ready. I'm going to put in a little bit, and that's probably too much for Loretta, of red chili flakes. I don't think it really needs salt because of the cheeses, but I am going to put some white pepper. Bam. Okay, very important. It is going to be kind of loose compared to other roux and sauces, but remember we're putting it with pasta and it's going to be absorbed into the pasta and it'll get thick when it sits in the oven. We're only going to put it in the oven about 10 minutes. Very important that 
you taste. Wow. Good. Okay, pasta's done. We're going to uh, drain it. And let it drain uh, fairly well into the bowl. Cheese sauce in. Remember, it's going to be absorbed by the pasta. Stir it up. Into our bowl, which has been sprayed with the oven spray, pan spray, oven spray. Where did I come up with that? Pan spray. Even it out. Bacon on the top. And some panko and parmesan mix. I won't use all this. I just want to get a little bit of a texture on this. Then into the oven, 375, for only about uh, maybe 10 minutes. Just keep an eye on it, okay? Okay, uh, maybe 10 minutes, 375. Then I did take it out and put it back in under the broiler for about a minute and a half to get it nice and brown. So we'll come over here, we're going to let it sit. See it's nice and bubbly. Let it sit for about five minutes. And we're going to uh, serve it with these, my uh, St. Louis pork ribs from last night, which we saved, reglazed them. See if I can get a scoop out of here without it going everywhere. Ah. So it's blazing hot, but uh, I'm going to give it a taste. Mac and cheese, five cheese mac and cheese, Gruyere, white cheddar, smoked gouda, Velveeta, some Parmesan in there. Did I get everything? Here we go. Good. It's really good. You really should try it. And we're going to have it with those ribs. That's it. Now, we're going to do stuff like this. We're going to do easy stuff, kind of medium stuff. Most would be medium to medium easy. We're going to do um, supermarket hack things. Some with a little more uh, in the recipe than, uh, you know, just canned goods and stuff, definitely. But I like to teach, I like to eat, I like to cook. So we're going to try to put that all in here with, uh, in the kitchen and other places with Skip and Loretta.